wooden floors, due to their aesthetic value and natural character, enjoy unflagging popularity. Current trends are also important, and lately we can observe a growing popularity of chevron among them. Today, we will see how a two-layer parquet, which can be used to arrange a French chevron pattern, is produced. For this purpose, we have visited Kachkan, a family company from Klanovid Vord in the Varmian Mazurian Voivodeship. Kachkan was founded in 1987 by Henrik and Josef Kachkan as a family company producing wooden floors. Thanks to our innovative production lines, we produce high-end floors, which we sell to many countries around the world, including Australia and the United States. We start the process in a sawmill. To produce French chevron, we use certified oak wood from Polish forests. Timber logs that have undergone the manipulation and debarking process are sent to the sawn timber production line. First, the log is edged and cut into boards. Next, the dimensions and class of wood are determined. It all depends on the amount and type of knots. The knowledge and experience of employees are invaluable. The next stage is cutting the boards to length according to the marking made by the employees. Next, we determine the width using an edger. The right size wood is picked up from the line and stacked on pallets. Smaller elements are transported to optimizing saws. They will be used to produce the baseboard. In the sawmill, nothing is wasted, so sawdust and scraps will be used to produce wood pellets. Let's get back to our boards. Lumber is sent to the dryer, where it has to give up excess moisture. In optimal conditions, it will stay here for around 40 days. After this time, the wood is transferred to the production plant in Klonovid Vord, where the finished floor is produced. In a reciprocating saw, the boards are sawn into thinner elements that will form the top layer of the parquet. In the case of French chevron, it is 4 mm thick. The next stage is gluing the two layers together. The machine takes in birch plywood, on which a layer of glue is applied, followed by the top oak layer of the parquet. The machine arranges a package of floor forms and transports them to the presses. Here, the glue binds both layers. After about 20 minutes, the compacted form is forwarded to a multi-saw. In this machine, it is divided in half. It is also undercut, which minimizes the tension that arises during gluing. On the next multi-saw, the undercut pieces are divided into single boards of a two-layer parquet. Sanded boards then undergo the profiling process. They get their final dimensions here, length and width. Mounting elements in the form of a tongue groove are also created. Employees check the quality of the operation. Next, the board is milled at an angle which will allow the floor to be mounted in a chevron pattern. Now it's time for the last stage of production. The machine collects parquet staves and places them on the automatic varnishing line. First, the board is sanded. Then the brushing machine emphasizes the structure of the grain on its surface. Subsequent layers of varnish are then applied to the wood prepared this way, ensuring, among others, durability and resistance to mechanical damage. Each of the layers, and in the case of the French chevron, there are seven of them, is hardened using UV rays. Boards produced in this way then undergo final quality control and can be delivered to individual packaging. The Kachkan production plant in Klanovid Vord creates 250 products with 70 different finishes. About 1,300,000 square meters of floors are produced here annually.